Maybe it's something about professional wrestling, being expected to live the lives of these characters you perform as on television and in person, close to 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, where it gets these guys and gals kind of caught up in that carny mindset of always having to feel like they're trying to pull one over on people, working people, you know, flat out lying at times. And, you know, it's, it's not a unique phenomenon. It's happened throughout wrestling history and continues to do so. Like my favorite wrestler of all time is Hulk Hogan. He's also one of the biggest bullshit artists there's ever been in the business. That's absolutely true. I'm going to be the lead guitarist for this if this didn't happen. Bull. Okay, just bull. Just stop lying. But the trick is, when you live your whole life under the premise of a lie, it can be really, really hard to switch that off and become honest and become genuine and become real and become truthful. You, you, you have a trouble separating the fantasy from the reality. Hogan's always had a major problem with that. And as we should know by now in 2018, Cody Rhodes does too. He's a liar. And more importantly than just lying to the people, it feels like he's gotten to a point now where he's lying to himself. Borderline delusional in some of this stuff. Now, why am I talking about Cody Rhodes specifically here? Because I thought something came about interesting in the past week or so that to me just screams out, bull, bull, bull. You had a fan on Twitter opining that Vince McMahon is a D-bag, basically, or from not allowing Cody to use the Rhodes last name all the while, you've got Patrick Clark being the Velveteen Dream and all of this. And Cody Rhodes responded. The second part of that, he put over Patrick Clark pretty nicely, and that was cool of him to do. The first part of that, though, was very interesting. And I quote, Nobody is keeping me from using my last name. There's no evil plot. Unquote. I'm, I'm going to read this again. Nobody is keeping me from using my last name. There's no evil plot. Interesting. Because if we go back to mid to late 2016, there's this quote from Cody that says, and I quote, it's an ongoing situation. I like going by my first name sometimes because it's so silly. They know what my last name is. It's silly that when they promote a tag team tournament in honor of my dad, they disallow me to use my last name, unquote. Again, I'm going to read back that last sentence. It's silly that when they, being WWE, promote a tag team tournament in honor of my dad, his name, of course, being Dusty Rhodes, they disallow me to use my last name, which is Rhodes. So which one is it, you lying sack of shit? Is it now in 2018 that nobody's keeping you from using your last name? Or is the truth more in 2016 where you said the company is disallowing you from using the last name? Which one is it? Were you lying then or were you lying now? Or are you going to say magically that two years ago or so, a year and a half ago, the company was fighting you, and now they're not anymore. Because here's what I find completely and totally, utterly ridiculous about this. Is that Cody, who apparently now is saying he can use the last name, doesn't. Yet all the while, for the longest time here, he dyed his hair blonde. Why? So that way he could look like his half-brother and his dad with the freaking blonde head. He calls himself... The American Nightmare. Why? Because it's a flat-out ripoff of the American Dream, and everybody damn good and well knows it. He sat there and aligned himself with a faction that actually got themselves over in order to try and leech off of their popularity in the Bullet Club. Sound a little familiar like his daddy, doesn't it? Now, granted, his daddy was a star in and of his own right, but when you're talking about the horsemen and stuff, you know what I mean going back to the 80s. So, a guy that had to latch on to the Bullet Club, dye his hair, and calls himself the American Nightmare. And oh, by the way, when he appears with his wife, Brandy, they strategically have to introduce them as Cody and Brandy Rhodes, since the WWE does not own the rights to Brandy using the last name of Rhodes. Why do you ask? Because she was called Eden in WWE. Intellectual property doesn't apply there, blah, blah, blah. But it does to Cody because he used that wrestling name in WWE. Now all of a sudden, Cody, you're telling me magically that nobody's keeping you from using your last name. 
Yet every time you appear on pay-per-view, every time you appear on television, last time I checked, if it's not in a WWE ring on a WWE program, you don't use the last name. Why the hell is that? Nobody's saying it's an evil plot, or they shouldn't be. This is just basic intellectual property and copyright trademark laws that are all involved here. You used the Rhodes last name in WWE, and at some point in time, surely signed that over as part of your agreement as an independent contractor with WWE. Now, unless the WWE has changed their course and they're not going to make that big of a deal about it, because they know that at some point in time, you're going to come with your tail between your legs, crawling back home, and everybody knows that's what's going to happen. Whether it be six months, a year, three years from now, it's destined to be. Maybe they don't care as much about you using the Rhodes name, but we know how petty Vince and the WWE can be. So while it is possible, it is also possible they are still keeping you from using it. Here's my bigger question. If you could use it, why don't you? If you can use it, why wouldn't you? It makes absolutely no sense, especially when previously you have appeared with your wife on television and in person and had her using the last name. If anybody believes Cody Rhodes at this point, shame on him. He's full of shit. He was either full of shit two years ago or he's full of it now. One thing you can be sure of if you've learned nothing else from me on this channel in 2018 is that Cody Rhodes is full of crap. And one way or another, you can be for sure that he is lying to you. If you can use the name Cody, why don't you? Yeah, it's that simple. Because you can't. Shut the hell up.